You might notice that while I've created a gradient background, Canva doesn't offer an option to rotate the gradient or change its direction. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to rotate the background and alter its direction to various angles, including the top right and bottom left corners. To start, I will add a new page with a solid background. Next, I go to the Elements tab, select a shape, and expand it to cover the entire page. You can change this to any solid color. Now, I will click on the color again to begin crafting a custom background gradient. If you're interested in learning how to create a custom gradient background, feel free to check out my previous tutorial. I'm creating the gradient quickly to respect your time, as I assume you've already viewed that tutorial. Now that I've applied the gradient color to the shape, Canva provides five options to change the gradient's direction allowing placement at the top, bottom, left, or right. For this example, I prefer the gradient color to be positioned at the top left. However, if you want to shift the gradient to the bottom right, Canva doesn't offer a direct option in the styles. To accomplish this, I will simply move the yellow gradient color tile to the extreme edge. If I want to apply gradient colors to both the top left and bottom right corners, I will add another gradient color. Then, I can hold and drag one of the gradient colors to the extreme left side. Success! Now the gradient is applied to both corners, but what if I need the gradient on the top right and bottom left corners? To do this, just hold the rotate button and move your mouse left or right. Release it at a 90 degree angle, then drag the shape's corners to fit within the canvas. Adjust the width and height of the shape to fit the page. You'll see that the gradient direction has shifted to the top right and bottom left. If you want the gradient in just one corner, simply delete one of the gradient color tiles. To place the gradient on the bottom left, drag the remaining tile to the extreme left side. Similarly, you can also change the direction of a horizontal or vertical gradient to a desired placement. I recommend locking the shape in place so that you can adjust the foreground elements without affecting the background. If you're interested in having gradient colors in all four corners like this, just let me know in the comments, and I'll create a simple tutorial for that. Please appreciate my efforts to create this informative video by liking it and subscribe to the Dozro channel. Be sure to check my other tutorials. Thank you for watching.